Hey guys, today I'm starting a new series in which I'm going to show you how to use Windows 8. It's going to be broken up into seven sections and in this first one I'm just going to show you the basics of the new start and log on screen in Windows 8. So let's get started. When you log on to Windows 8 you're going to come up onto this lock screen and it looks pretty nice and all but it doesn't really tell you what to do from here. So basically all you have to do is hit the space bar or click with your mouse or um, if you're using a touch screen swipe upwards to get off of this lock screen. And now it'll sign you in to the Metro interface and this was obviously designed with touch screen in mind and it comes with a lot of touch friendly apps. And on a regular desktop, you might want to spin the mouse wheel to scroll backwards and forwards. But on this Metro application, you're going to use your keyboard and the arrow keys to go back and forth. And if you have a lot of these um, columns full of Metro apps, you can hit the um, home and end keys to jump from the first side of the apps to the the uh, last side of the apps. So as you can see here I'm pressing home and end and it's jumping from mail to that um, stock metro app down in the right hand corner. So those can be two quicker ways to scroll through this um, start screen. If you're using touch screen obviously you can just swipe with your finger to move from one side of the apps to the other side of the apps. And now moving on to um, adding groups. Now if you wanted to create groups of certain apps you can go in the right hand corner down here and click on the little magnifying glass and it'll zoom out and what this allows you to do is move these segments of applications around so if you wanted to group say people and mail video and weather together you can create a new section for all of those just by clicking on them and dragging and then if you go to that magnifying glass down in the bottom right hand side of the screen and click on it you can now move these segments of groups all around. Basically it'll just give you a sort of personalization of the start screen. And now to get out of this magnified um, zoom just hit the escape key and it'll bring you back to the regular start screen. Now also if you're zoomed out in, into this group segmented um, screen you can right click on one of them and you can name the group so say I wanted to name this social and now it pops up above it calling that social and say I wanted to name this second row business I would right click on it and just type in business and it names that business so when I zoom back in they're named up at the top now moving on to the start um, menu. As you can see down in the bottom right hand corner Windows doesn't have a start menu anymore but if you go down right click on this right here it'll bring up your start menu and it's supposed to be a simplified start menu that just has the basic um, system functions like the control panel and the command prompt and in order to find the applications that are normally in the start menu you have to right click on any blank area on the metro screen and down here in the bottom right there's an apps symbol and you click on that and now that'll bring up all of your programs that would normally be in your start menu on say Windows 7 and now on this screen if you want to add one of these to your metro desktop you just right click on one and down here at the bottom you can pin to start so if you click that now my calculator 
is pinned on to my Metro UI so it's right here and you can do that with any app you want and a simpler way to find apps if you don't want to just right click every time on your um, Metro UI if you know what app you're looking for you can simply just type in that app so say I'm looking for the control panel I can type in control and it automatically pops up right there so that could be useful and now when you're in this app screen or searching for apps if you just hit the windows button on your keyboard it should just bring you back to the metro UI so that could be useful and one last thing I'd like to show you guys today that has to do with this new metro UI is how to shut down the um, Windows 7 through the Metro UI so if you just um, if you're on a touch screen you can swipe to the right hand side of the screen over here and if you're on a PC if you just um, bring your mouse and kind of hit it against this right hand corner it'll bring up this um, charms menu they're calling it and you can go to settings and then power and you can either shut down or restart your computer now I think this is kind of a um, turn off because instead of just originally going to the start menu and clicking shut down you actually have to go over to the right click on settings click on power and click shut down or restart so it's like a four step procedure now if you're on the desktop you can just click all F4 and it'll ask you if you want to restart or shut down your computer or if you click control out delete it'll bring up your task manager and it'll give you an option to sign out or switch users or change your password so you can do that if you'd like to alright guys so in this video I gave you a quick demonstration of how to use the lock screen the basic navigation through the metro UI the different app groups and the ways that you can rearrange them and name them the simplified start menu where only your basic um, computer functions are inside of it and I showed you how to find your applications and pin them to the desktop so I hope you guys like this video and if you did there's gonna be six more um, segments coming out of this tutorial on how to use Windows 8 so be sure to like comment or subscribe and tell me if you do like it and as always have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later